Hey guys, this is Catherine, and this time I'm filming a video for UC Berkeley 2019 dorm tour. Um, this is my room. I lived in a double with my wonderful roommate, Amanda. She's right there. And um, it's a pretty big room. We got it right next to the lounge. This is the layout of the room. Renting a fridge and a microwave is through a separate service. And this is the general layout. You can rearrange your desk however you like. And you can decorate your room too on the wall. Um, a mirror is included. On the wall, it's generally recommended to bring thumbtacks and not tape because nothing sticks to the wall. Also, side note, I filmed with my iPhone 6, so that's why my um, filming is really shaky. And this is the side shelves. So you can put utility stuff there, um, water, things like that, general care stuff. The shelves are pretty big, so split between two people, there's a lot of room. If you live in a double, the closet space is pretty good, even though um, you don't live, excuse the mess, um, in a corner room, because corner rooms have bigger closet space. Um, you could put stuff like bags for when you go home back at the top. Um, hats. This is where you hang your clothes. My closet came with hangers, which I don't think is normal. So I kind of like borrow whoever left the Oakland something hangers. Um, towels can be hung. They have a rack here sliding on the closet to hang your towels as well. This is the hallway. So for some reason they decided to put mirrors in the hallway. Um, it's pretty big. There are a lot of students that can live here. I think it's around 16 rooms per floor. Um, yeah, and this is a co-ed floor, so the restroom is for boys and girls. And um, let's go check it out. So here we have lockers. Um, lockers are where students store um, the stuff that they bring to the bathroom, so like shampoo, um, conditioner, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, things like that. I recommend buying one of those bags. One of those bags that you bring to like the bathroom to carry your stuff. You can bring that to your room or leave it in here. It's really up to you. Um, this is the sink. It's pretty clean. I mean, students are respective of each other's spaces. We have outlets for like blow dryers, things like that. <laughs> um, flyers can be posted here. I made that one. Um, yeah, and we have um, paper towels not air hand dryers for some reason, even though we're in a school that goes green. Um, so there are three bathrooms in this floor. Other floors have like four or five, but the reason we have three is because here we have a bathtub. So that's for people with disabilities to have easier access when they're going to shower. Um, but on average, it's three showers per floor bathroom. And um, if you want to look inside, it's just a simple shower. It's not that big. Um, this is where you can put your stuff. There are hooks in the walls for your towels and things like that. Yeah. This is the lounge. So every other floor in the building has a lounge space. There you get a chalkboard, but whether or not there's chalk is like kind of a um, bi-weekly thing. There are always two couches for recreational use three tables, normally students study in here. I live right next to it, so in terms of sound for students that stay up at like 4 a.m. playing league, I don't know. Um, the soundproof is pretty good, like you don't normally hear anything, so no need to worry about that. Um, a lot of students come in here during different parts of the day to study, and at night, because it's open 24 seven per floor, so if your floor is one of the floors that does not have a lounge, you're welcome to go to the other floors and um, study in their study rooms. There's also a balcony, which I think is really nice. Um, you get to see a lot of a whole courtyard. So the way the units work is that all these buildings, which have different names, um, face one central unit and underneath underground there is the unit APR. So the academic center where you have tutoring services, printing services, a gym, um, music rooms with grand pianos that students are allowed to play with, um, things like that. That does have certain open hours though, so you have to watch out during the study season if you want to go in there and study to make sure that they actually open. Yeah, and we have lounge chairs. Um, the courtyard's pretty nice. I think we're really fortunate to face a side that sees the sunset. And the higher you go, the more you can see of Berkeley. 
So I went up to the seventh floor and actually took a bigger shot so you could see all the city overlooking the courtyard and everything. It was a really nice day so you could see a lot of the buildings up towards San Francisco and all of Berkeley and the Campanile on the right. As a student, I really appreciated having aesthetic views to go and relax with when I was really stressed so that I could take in the surroundings around me and have an open space to look out and enjoy the view with. Sometimes you can see the band play because we have like a marching band that comes during football games and plays in each unit's courtyard so you can look down and hear them play different songs and cheer on the games. This is a quick shot of the actual hallway. I wanted to show the different spirit that each of the hallways had due to your residence assistance themes. And um, my theme was Why Scholars? So here's the kitchen. Students can store stuff here, but it's like leave Asian sauces here at your own risk because things can disappear. I mean, if you don't claim them, um, it will get tossed out, especially if you have things in the fridge. So here it says this fridge will be cleaned out on the first and third Wednesday of the month because students can leave their ingredients inside and um, usually it's like an honesty policy so um, normally people won't take stuff that isn't theirs but if you leave it in there for too long of course they'll take it out. There's also a soda machine though I haven't seen anybody use it so I don't know why it's here. Um, but I've cooked in here a couple times, it's nice. You should bring your own cutting board if you plan on cooking at all. And um, otherwise, it's pretty free to use for anyone who wants to cook. So this is the main lounge where students from the entire building can come um, and do a variety of things. You can study, there's a lot of couches and tables. There's a fireplace, and I've never seen it used. Um, a TV, because some people bring their Wii console over and um, ping pong table and a pool table. Oh, there's also a grand piano that people can play, but it's funny because during finals week, people play all the time. So they put up a notice that was like, no playing after 1 a.m. from this day to this day, so that people upstairs, ironically, can hear the sound. So um, there is that. Okay, now we're in the recreation room, which is one of the bigger study rooms that's in the academic center in my units. Let's see if we can turn it on there. Oh. And there's a lot of tables. There's outlets on the side for students to study. Normally during finals, it gets super crowded in here. It also gets um, really quiet. So if you need a place to study where there's a lot of people and don't want to go to the library because it's so far, because all of campus for some reason is like, off-campus housing, then you can come here. Across from there is the academic center. So the academic center is where you can print things, use their computers, there's a lot of student services. But unfortunately here though, in order to print, you need to pay using the debit card that's on your ID versus going to the uh, open computing facility, or the OCF, that's at MLK building, which is also on campus, so you have to walk, but they have free printing for like 70 pages, I think, per semester. the end of the dorm tour. I hope you guys enjoyed touring Unit 1 and all of Berkeley. If you want me to make another video about Berkeley or my life at college, comment below and thank you so much for watching!